This session is from Let's Learn the Concept in 5 to 10 Minutes series. This 5 minutes videos will help in case you are going for interview and need to go through and brush up the concept quickly. Playlist will be updated every week, so subscribe to the channel to see more such content anytime and share if you like it. All the best. Hello everyone, uh, welcome all of you. So in this session, uh, we will see about um, another important interview question in Selenium that how to handle insecure connection or untrusted certificate error in Selenium on Chrome and Firefox browsers. Okay, so here two things we need to understand insecure connection and untrusted certificate. What does this mean? So uh, when you access any website, okay, when you hit a URL, the browser checks for its security certificate. Okay, so it will check for the certificate details uh, like uh, who provided that uh, certificate, its validity means when it expires. So that certificate, security certificate will have some expiry date as well. So if uh, the expiry date is over, then it will give you that error that uh, connection is going to be insecure. Are you going to, are you want to continue or not? Or this certificate, whatever provided or whatever browser found is untrusted. So do you want to continue or not? Okay, so that kind of error or warning it will show you on the browser and when you try to access such URLs using selenium right we are automating the things using selenium so uh, in that case our test case will fail right so that due to that error we won't be able to log in into application because when you hit that URL this error will be shown without uh, except the login page okay so you need to click on some uh, buttons will be there you need to let me show you that okay something like this so it will show you uh, this kind of error okay so what we have to do is in manually what we will do we will we can click on go back or you can click on this advance and then we can click on continue so browser will ask do you want to continue means you need to go to advance and let's we want to uh, we know that this uh, url is insecure but i want to continue so then url page will be open the login page or home page whatever it is so this thing you can do manually but with the help of selenium when you are automating you cannot uh, directly interact with the browser when you start the automation right that is not the right way so you need to handle this kind of errors uh, with the help of selenium on both the chrome and firefox okay so this is one of the certificate error that uh, security certificate is not trusted okay so here also you need to click on this proceed anyway or you can click on back to safety right so these options we need to do with the help of selenium okay directly we need to automate these things with the help of selenium so that we will directly go to this website uh another one let me show you this is also so connection is not private so when you are accessing a url okay so if you are accessing a dot in url let's say qa dot application dot dot in so browser will look for the dot in certificate and if it found some let's say dot com certificate so certificate can be dot in certificate or dot com certificate right so if you are accessing a dot in url uh then if you found a dot com url right so it will give you the error uh, certificate error that the uh, certificate found is uh, is not a trusted certificate right and you are accessing dot uh, com url so it will check for the certificate dot com certificate then it will go into the details also so who provided that certificate its expiry date all these things right so if expiry date is over then again it will give you the same kind of error or warning so let us see how we can handle these things uh, with the help of selenium okay so for chrome and firefox browser so for chrome if you want to handle it on the chrome browser then you need to use two things you need to use the chrome option class okay chrome options class and desired capability okay so these two uh, class you need to use desired capabilities capabilities okay this two class and for firefox for firefox browser we need to use the firefox options class and next one is firefox profile firefox profile okay so we need to make use of this two class okay so let's go and see how we can use it to handle this kind of uh, certificate errors so let us see first for uh, setting for the chrome browser so for chrome we are going to use the desired capabilities class so
right these are capabilities dot chrome and you have three ways to handle this certificate error okay so first one is desired capability dot accept insecure certificate so i am uh, we are saying that whatever insecure certificates are there please accept it then next one is set capability so so here we are setting the capability uh, what capability accept insecure certificate so this requires a boolean value true or false so we have set this value to true means it will accept uh, insecure certificates and similarly for this set capability capability type accept ssl certificates so this is also we need to set to true okay so that it will automatically accept it okay so once you set the capabilities uh, what we have to do is you know to create a object of chrome options class okay so we have created this chrome options class using the new keyword and use, uh, in this chrome options object we need to merge the our desired capability so previously what was uh, happening that we can directly send the desired capability as an argument to this chrome driver constructor okay so for now you need to merge the uh, desired capability to chrome options and that chrome options object you need to say, uh, send as an argument it will not accept the desired capability so maybe it will accept but it will give you some error so i can show you that web driver driver if you write like this equal to new chrome driver and if i send the desired capability object it will show you that uh, that method is deprecated so in older versions of the selenium we, are, we were using it but now it is deprecated so what we have to do is you know to just create object of op, op, uh, chrome options and just merge whatever uh, capability desired capability object into that and then send that chrome options object to this chrome driver okay so this setting we need to do before we open the browser so after that it will set up our browser it will open the chrome browser with this setting okay with this desired capability setting and then you can navigate to that url and it will directly give you the home page or login page automatically it will not show you that uh, insert ticket error or insecure connection right so this is for chrome so for firefox also very similar you need to create object of firefox option first okay because we need to send uh, this firefox options object to the argument of firefox driver constructor okay so what we have to do is only one change you know to create a firefox profile object here okay in that profile we need to set uh, accept untrusted certificate equal to true okay so again this is going to accept a boolean value true or false so send it uh, as a true okay so it will accept the untrusted certificate on the firefox and then using this firefox options you need to set the profile okay and profile whatever profile you have created here okay and this object you need to send to the constructor of the firefox driver class okay so then with all these settings a firefox browser will be opened and it will directly navigate to that url right so i think this is all about uh, handling the insecure certificate or untrusted certificate issues on the chrome and firefox so if someone asks you in the interviews okay you definitely going to uh, face this question in the selenium interviews okay so you just have to remember the these two class for the chrome browser and these two class we need to use to the for the firefox browser right and only one line uh, solution is there you just have to set the accept untrusted certificate equal to true right for firefox and from here you can use any one of this okay so i have shown all the three so you can uh, use all these three or you can use any one of it okay it will work so that's all for this guys thanks for your time i will see you in the next video soon thank you